Welcome to Felting TV. I'm Shahar Boyaya and your host. Let's talk today about needles for needle felting. I don't know about you, but when I got started, that confused me quite a bit. And it's actually pretty simple, so let's take a look at them. The needles for needle felting, they are barbed wire. So they have these barbs here that what is what makes the wool felt with the fibers, right? The wool has small little hooks like a Velcro. And when you start mashing the, the needle, they start getting together. So we need the barbs for that. Now there are different types of needles and different numbers. The higher the number, the finer, I don't know if that's a, the correct wor word is. Uh, so for example, a 42 is for details while a 38 it's more for you to start sculpting, for example. So let's take a look at some of the ones I have. They usually are color coded. So when you buy, they have the color code and they usually give you a chart for that. If they don't, if they come without any color, would be a good idea for you to color them using a nail polish, for example. Welcome to felt the ones that I have here, they all already came colored. So the first one I want to show you is the, the finer one. It's for fine details. Okay, so for example, when I'm finishing a face and I want very fine details, I would use this needle here, okay? Then it comes a fine detail one. I actually use this one a lot more than I use this one. So for example, in this little bird, if I want the tuft to go a little bit more to the back, that would be a perfect one to do that. And with a few strokes, I would have the tuft where I want them. I use that quite a lot at the end of my pieces. I like to sculpt the needle felting a lot. Then the workhorse. This is the one really that you use all the time. It's the 38 go gauge. At least I use it all the time. So that's the one when I start sculpting, I poke all around and start giving shape. Actually, I would say that in my case, I work 80% of the time with this one. Then you have the, the reverse needle. The reverse needle is it actually works in a different way. It pulls the fiber out. So let's suppose that I was working on this lamp and I wanted to make more fluffy so I want the fibers to come out. I would use this one to pull the fibers here and then eventually I would have all the fuzziness there. So when you need some fuzzy that's the moment you you're going to use that one. And I use this one. This is a very long one as you can see. I use this one mainly to attach limbs, right? So if I'm making a doll and I want to put the arm to the, to the body, that's the one because it goes very deep, so it, it does the trick for me. Okay, so the, the very big one. And then you have the multi-needle tools. There are several out there uh, with four, with six, with 12. And you use these ones uh, to work in large areas. So for example, here, let me put this baby here, I'm working on a larger piece that will be a birdhouse later, right? So to make it faster and felt faster, that's the one I'm going to use here. You always work with a needle on, on a vertical, okay? Especially w when you're first, like this one, I'm just starting out, I want to mash the, the fibers together. And when I want to really shrink the piece, I want them smaller. I use it like this. If I want just to make it more firm, and when I'm using the single needle, I may go in diagonal, okay? But most of the time, I go like this, and this avoids also the, the needles to break, okay? So this one, you could make shawls, uh, scarves, large areas would be hats, for example. They would be the ideal, because of course, you are working here with six or 12, or 12 uh, needles at the same time. It's not a good idea for you to needle felt while you're watching TV. It's very easy for you really to poke your fingers. Uh, there are, you know, finger gloves that you can buy that they help quite a bit. There is one that it really gets close to your skin here. I use them every now and then, but you have to pay attention. You don't want to do this in the subway or watching TV because you're going to, to poke yourself quite a bit. So this is a little bit about the needles. I think it's a good start. You have to choose, if you have to choose one, you can only afford to buy one. They're very inexpensive. Buy the 32, the 38 gauge, because that's the one you're going to use a lot when you are needle felting. Okay, so now you know a lot. You're basically a pro on needle felting 
uh, needles. So let's go felting. Don't forget, if you like what you see here, tell your friends, share. Sharing is really important for us. It just takes you a second. Put in all social networks. Let's get more people felting. It is so fun. It's such a cool hobby to have. Help me spread the word and come back next week at feltingtv.com. See ya.